It's match day eight. It is the final set of games before the international break. And Rangers are in crisis. Welcome back to Fog Football. And we've got a lot of games to get through, don't we? I mean, forget about the international break. I think Rangers have been broken in half seven games into the season. Their title challenge is already done. They've been knocked out the Champions League. They're going to get knocked out the Fireplay Cup by Hearts. And the likelihood is St Mirren will turn them over on the weekend. So yeah, sucks for Rangers. And they got beat by some shite team for Cyprus as well. So let's just add that in there. Yeah, let's add that in there. I mean... Shout out to Aberdeen though, who got a point. Although, is it a good point? I don't think it'll be enough. Come the end of their group stage campaign, I think Aberdeen will look back at that thinking they probably need it to, to beat Helsinki to put themselves in a, with a chance of going through. But we'll see. Aberdeen were the only team to get a point this week. So, respect to them. Respect to them. And also, breaking news, Lampard will not be the Rangers manager. May as well address that right at the start. I, I would not give Lampard the job for any of these 10 teams in League 2. Never mind fucking Rangers. The guy is shite. And why he was even... The fact he was even being considered shows you a shamble that, that Rangers are. Who the fuck was actually considering him for the job? You tell me. The no, Rangers. no, for real. Fucking probably Bisco. The guy is fucking pants. He could, if he can't do decent at Chelsea, how the fuck is he supposed to go, do good at Rangers? I, I just don't get it. 9% win ratio for Fatty Frankie. Anyway, moving on for Fat Frank. Well, moving the only on. thing about it is, I mean, if he, did, if he did join Rangers, he would surely improve on that. You couldn't be the Rangers manager and have a 9% win record. Well, I mean, it's this, just not possible. This current fucking team. But I think some of the lowest Rangers, like, win percentages are, are the, the lowest one I think still above 50% if you factor in just people that have had like a, a, like 20 games plus yeah. I'm pretty sure the lowest win ratio is still over 50% so I mean Pedro Casino had like 53% Paul Le Guin had 54% so even pish guys like that have got over 50 I'm not saying Lampard's better than those guys but I think if Lampard joined Rangers he would improve on 9 of course he would die. I mean, if he didn't, he wouldn't last. He wouldn't be there long. No, he wouldn't. He would not last long. He'd be leaving long. Scotland in a body bag. He would be. But let's talk about League 2. And it is. Peter Head leading the way. It's very tight at the top, isn't it? Two points cover the top three. And uh, then you've got a uh, tight midfield action. But, I mean, it's all around. It's entertaining here in League 2. Yeah, uh, Peter Head top. Didn't really expect them to be challenging, but they are. I, I still think this could go either way. But obviously, look at the two teams that got relegated, Peterhead and Clyde. One of them is flying high, and the other one is struggling. So it's an unpredictable league. I still wouldn't rule it any team from winning this, and we'll see what happens. Elgin City don't look good, but it's early days, so I'm not going to rule them out of a potential top four finish. Yep, and Just it... like I'm not going to rule out the potential of Peterhead falling away, so we'll just have to wait and see. As for the games, though, Bonnie Rig Rose... Taking on East Fife, Clyde taking on Dumbarton, Elgin City taking on Stenhouse Muir, Forfar taking on Peterhead, and Stranraer taking on Spartans. So I'd say this is probably the hardest league to call in Scottish football. Yep, I would agree with that. Absolutely. And uh, that's why we're going to dive straight in and talk about it, damn it. I'm going to go for 2 0 Bonnie Reg Rose. Big Bonnie Reg Rose, East Fife. I'm also going to go with a Bonnie Reg Rose win. I'll go, I'll go 2 1 to the Rose. 2 1 to the Rose. Where are Bonnie Reg Rose from, mate? Oh, moving on. Clyde taking on Dumbarton. Oh, I know, I know that. It's um, it's not Edinburgh. It's okay. um, <laughs> it, it really is. Out there it is. <laughs> no, it's not. It, oh, well, it's, it's close enough to Edinburgh. It is Bonnie Rig Rose. I'm gonna say, what the fuck it is? Pollock. It could be, I don't know. I think it's in Pollock. Would you bet your top rocker on that? I'd bet a tenner on it, aye. Somebody let us know in the comments, it's, it's Bonnie Rig Rose and who gives a fuck where it is? Clyde versus Dumbarton. Two, this is like a derby, these two. A relegation match here. Clyde, struggling, need a win. Will they get the win here? I'm not entirely sure, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll go 2-1 to Clyde. Yeah, I'm going to go 2-0 to Clyde. Uh, two 2 nils in a row. We've got Elgin Say against Stenhouse Moore. It's pretty much top against... Well, Second against, what, last? Elgin City are going to get beat here. Sternhouse Moore will be loving life. 1-0. I'm going to go away in Elgin City 2-1-1. One, one. 
there you have it. Uh, then we have four for Athletic against Peterhead. Peterhead are going to win. I've already, well, I've said I've already gave three home victories. I'm going to go with my fourth. I'm going to say four for Athletic to now win against the league leaders. Yep. Fair enough. Then we have Strenrar taking on the Spartans, and I'm going to go for a one-one draw. Do you know what the Spartans are for? Fuck, they're lowland league. I know that much. Do you know where they're from? Oh, I. Well. Obviously, you fucking don't. Edinburgh? Uh-huh. Oh, that's all right. There you go. I'm going to go with Stranraer. I'm going to go with five home wins. We'll see. I'll go, I'll go you know with two Bank wins. You know where from? Uh, Clark and the Cudden? I can't tell you. I know where Clark and the Cudden's from. Sounds like a place to visit it and still, still game. game, huh? Ah, it's up past Inverness. There you go. So, boom! Don't worry, Bank. Bank's OD. I'm going to assume it's somewhere north. Highland League. But as we look at the League One table, we've got a tasty match between Falkirk and Hamilton to predict a wee bit later on. But yeah, I mean, it is literally those two at the top, and there's nothing. I mean, who's going to lose it? You're going to feel like a dickhead if you finish second. Yeah, I mean, it's eight games in already. It's a two horse race for the title. I did think Queen of the South would be up there, but they've just fallen off. It's also a one horse race for relegation because Edinburgh City are rotten. Queen of the South have lost their last four games in a row. And when will the pressure begin to be called upon Marvin Bartley? I know. He'd done a good job last season. He got them on a really good winning streak. And I think if he'd have come in maybe a month or two earlier, he could have got them into the playoffs. But... I know there's not many Queen of the South fans, right? But seeing it's his night on Super Scoreboard, why does no one phone in if you're a Queen of the South fan and, like, grill him? You're like, hold on, we've lost four in a row. Why the fuck are you on this podcast instead of getting those lads into training and kicking some ass? Why? Why not? Do you know where Edinburgh City are from? Edinburgh. Oh, there you go. Do you know where the stadium is in Edinburgh? Oh, no. Oh, he doesn't know. Anyway... Cove Rangers against Annan Athletic. I'm going to go for Cove Rangers 1-0. I also go for a wee Cove Rangers win. I think this will be the only Rangers that win this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to complain with that. Edinburgh City against Kelly Hearts. I'm going to go for two each. Edinburgh City bottom of the table. I'm actually going to go with Edinburgh City win. I think they'll win. I'm going to go 2-1. Damn. Montrose against Alloa Athletic. I'm going to go for a 3-1 victory to Montrose in this game. Montrose, Alloa. I'll go 1-1. So uh, far, I've predicted every fucking home team, so I can't keep that trend up. I'm going to go home. Oh, it's a good thing Rangers are away then, isn't it? Um, Queen of the South taking on Sterling Albion. I'm going to go for Marvin Bartley to get a draw, one each. I'm going to go with Queen of the South. Finally, he, he needs to end that streak. It's been poor. Four defeats in a row. Needs to bounce back with victory. I think he'll get it here. I'm going to go 3-2, Queen of the South. Then the massive game, half five. Two giants collide here. I think the winner will let's take the main. I'm not saying ever wins this is up, but it could be the, a, a massive momentum swinger. Is this game on telly? I don't know. Might be, I think it might be on album. I think it'd be worth a watch. I'm going to go with Falkirk, though. I mean, Hamilton's been great. And I'm fair, going to go 5 2 Falkirk. Fair play to Hamilton for keeping up with Falkirk, but I, I, I just think Falkirk are the best team in this league. And I think that will, well, I think that will prove. I, I do expect to see Hamilton fall away the longer we get into the season. But who knows? Hamilton could win here. And prove us all wrong, but I'm going to go with a... I'll go with a 3-1 Falkirk win. There you have it. Moving in to the Scottish Championship League table here. And there it is. Rafe Rovers, Dundee United, another top of the table clash will be happening. Uh, Granite Morton sit bottom. Inverness finally got a win under the big man, Duncan Ferguson. And then you've also got, you know, Partick, Arbroath, Erdred and Fermont sitting there in the mid-pack. So what, what do you make of this league table? Well, it was looking pretty poor for Morton. It's looking even worse now. Big yes. dunk comes in, gets Inverness off to a win straight away. And for me, Green and Morton are under severe pressure. Even though both teams are only on four points, Inverness have got the momentum. Inverness have picked up... Did they not lose their first four games? Or was it five games? Either way, in the last three games, they've at least got a win and a draw. Whereas Morton won their first game and it went six without a victory, so... Yeah. And Inverness have better goal difference. Well, all that matters is, last week, I got all five scores correct. Will I do it this week? Scores or predictions? Predictions? Fuck, I won a bet, man, right? I won the Mueller. So, it doesn't matter whether I got the scoreline right or the result. The results, all that matter, right? Erdry taking on Air United. I'm going for 2-1 Erdry. Big Reese. What job he's doing at Erdry? I'll, I'll go. I'll, I also go Erdry. 
Airdrie Air United not having a good season, to be honest. Uh, then we've got Dunfermline against Arbroath. Going to go for a 1-0 victory for Dunfermline. Uh, Arbroath have outperformed what I expect them to do this season, but I'll, I'll also go with Dunfermline. I think they'll get the job done. I'll go 2-1 Dunfermline. Oh, I see a lot of home victories this, this weekend. I see Inverness against Partick. Going to go two each. High scoring game. I want to back dunk, but Partick Fissel are good, so I'm going two each. Um, yeah, I don't see Inverness, Caledonia and Fissel winning back to back games. I'll go 1 1. I don't think Inverness will lose, but I, I just don't really see them beating Partick Fissel. If I had to go with someone, I would go with Partick Fissel, but I'll pick a draw. There you go. Queen's Park taking on Greenock Morton. Morton. I mean, they're going to need to start getting results, aren't they? But I don't think they are going to get a result here. And I'm going to go for a 3 1 victory to Queen's Park. Yeah, um, Greenock Morton in no man's land right now. Struggling big time. And I expect those struggles to continue. I'm going to go 2 1 to Queen's Park. I think they'll, I think they'll beat Greenock Morton. Moving into the big game, we've got Ray Rovers against Dundee United. I think it'll be a good game. And Dun Dundee United are hot and cold, man. Some weeks they look like they're a step above, and then some weeks they look just like they belong. Uh, but I'm going to go for 0-0, actually a bore draw. There we go, a big boring draw. Thoughts on that? Um, Don't really see it. I'm going to go... I think there'll be goals in this. I'm going to go 3-2 Dundee United. Damn, he's going 3-2 Dundee United, and that is the Scottish Championship wrapped up. Now it's into the Scottish Premiership, and I haven't looked at the league table in quite a while, and I'm actually afraid to look at it. To be honest. So let's look at it. Celtic sits seven points clear of Rangers. Doesn't look that bad, you're third. It looks bad, man. Yeah, and how long are we going to be third for? I'd say till the end of this weekend. Oh, there you go. But, I mean, if we look at this league, if we look at the bottom right, you've got St. Johnston, who are down. I'm sorry, I just cannot see them doing anything. There's no goals in that St. Johnston team. I think, I think this is the year Livingston will finish 11th. Yeah, I think I predicted them to finish 11th. So. I, I, for the simple reason, Ross County and Dundee have got something about them. Livingston are awful. They really are. Um, Kelly, Aberdeen, Hibs. I mean, I think Kelly are just a step below the other seven. Now, would you agree with that? Yeah, no, no, I mean, yeah. They, they, they started pretty well. They've just oh, one win in seven games is not a good start, though. No, it's not. Motherwell, though, I mean, a weird one. Really good start, but, like, they've... They've really were off the boil recently, even though it's been three pretty unlucky defeats, to be honest, like three one nils. Uh, well, by one goal deficit, I mean, against Celtic, they really should have picked up a draw, but they didn't. Hibs have turned it around on Nick Montgomery. Hearts are beginning to win, and then there's a team in third. Hearts are beginning to win, but we're still playing shite, let's be honest. I'm still not content. Nice, and not the man. I don't think it matters, like, it's probably a similar situation for you at Rangers. Michael Beale won four games in a row. It, it didn't change anyone's opinion of him. Yep. Even when he beat Betis, people still want him out. People still don't think he was a man. And that's how I feel about Naismith. Yeah, a couple of wins in a row, got us into the semi-finals, blah, blah, blah. Fact is, we could go out tomorrow, we could beat Hibernian. I don't, even if we beat Hibernian and went on a win and run and knocked Rangers at the set, I just still wouldn't think he's the man to take them forward. And it's going to take more than a, a decent win and run for me to change my mind on that. Just like for Michael Beale, it's going to take more than him to win four games to, to save his Rangers career. And it's over. So, um, yeah. Can't save hee-haw. Just not convinced here that, that Robbie Nielsen... Uh, I'm not convinced... I I am I was convinced that Robbie Nielsen was the man. But for some reason, everyone hate him. Want him out, so... And he is it. He's away. Then we can sit Merrin. And the, I think second. the worst thing about Stephen Naismith is he's a boring bastard. I, 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 I see listening to his post-match interviews and... Press conferences, holy shit. I mean, last season he said he didn't care about third. People came out and defended him, saying he's trying to take the pressure. I mean, fuck that. What kind of lefty bullshit world do we live to take the pressure? I want the pressure to be on them. I want them to fucking know anything less than third's a joke and not acceptable. Like, imagine Stephen Davis came out and says, ah, well, we're not worried about winning the league. Would Rangers fans come out and say, ah, sorry, he's just trying, he's trying to take the pressure. <sighs> What? No, fuck. Yeah, it's, it's not, not a good look. It's not how it works. So he came out and he said he wasn't worried about finishing third. And then this season he's already come out and said he's not worried about where we are on the table. Well, I am worried. All right, we might be fourth, but let's be honest. 
a couple of wins in the last three weeks or else we wouldn't be there. And it's a very tight league table. It's at the very beginning, seven games in. Fourth. Let's be real. You could be fourth right now, right? Or, or you could be 11th. There's not a lot separating it. We're talking like one win here. So yeah. I'm not going to take much fucking confidence here for us being fourth. Maybe 10 games down the line if we're still fourth. I would be happy enough with that, to be fair. As long as we've closed the gap to St Mirren and Rangers. St Mirren and Rangers. And Tom of St Mirren, they're in second, undefeated. 15 points, only four behind Celtic. What do you make of St Mirren? Have they got, have they got a chance of Champions League football? I think for the sake of Scottish football and to deny three in a row, Rangers should lie down to St Mirren this week. I don't think Rangers really need to lie down like but... <laughs> Well, they don't, but they should make it as easy as possible for St Mirren. I think they already do that, but... Let's talk about it. Let's talk about these fixtures. Because there's a lot going on, damn it, on Saturday before we even get in to Sunday. Ember Derby's blacked out. We're not allowed to see it. Uh, we'll still some, find some way to watch it, though. We'll get Celtic against Kelly. I wonder if any is anyone I'm showing it on their um, TV deals? I don't know. Hearts TV, Jambos TV. I'll be a waste of fourteen ninety nine. Um, if, if, if it's on, then... Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it's available for pay-per-view, then other times you can only get the audio. I'm just, I'm just not paying, I'm not paying twelve ninety nine to listen to fucking audio when BBC Sports Scotland will just give you the audio for free. Yeah, that's, that's who, who, who the fuck would pay that for the audio? Who are we trying to kid here? Like, it's different if you're paying the monthly subscription fee anyway, that's fair enough, but to actually individually pay for the audio version of the match. It's like, why would you do that? Yeah, right. Anyway, Celtic against Kelly, and normally I'd be like, Plus, oh. no offence to anybody that does this, but a, a lot of the people that the clubs hire to be the caught, they're fucking, they're shite at their job. Like, that, that guy that does the Rangers TV, I mean, he's garbage. I've had people come on my channel and say, you'd be, you'd be brilliant at doing Hearts TV. Well, Hearts, Heart of Midlothian, whoever wants to reach it, Fucking Ann Budge. Anybody? Come and I, I sign. Think you'd have to go to Tyne Castle first for the offer you the job, wouldn't you? Well, probably. Like, But come and sign me up. <laughs> Son of Scotland 90. I'll work. I'll do it for free. Do I will free. commentate on the game for free. What about your 9 to 5? All right. Yeah, match what I earn in my 9 to 5. That's fucking pish. That's what, a wee bit more than that. Which is essentially fucking free anyway. But anyway, Celtic, Kelly. Normally I'd be keeping... Oh, I'd be like, yes, come on. Keep an eye on this, Kelly. Celtic need to drop points. See, to me, I think it's irrelevant if Celtic get beat here. The, the Rangers are fucking pish. Honestly. I think we're, we're actually at the stage of the season now where it doesn't matter what Celtic do. The seven, Rangers will match Seven it. games in. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, I felt... The league was done uh, 2nd of September, I believe. But do you know how we're at this stage already? It doesn't actually... If Kelly win 5-0 here, it doesn't change anything. Rangers still not going to win the league. Well, it kind of does. What does it change? Oh, if, I mean, it gives St Mirren half a chance. If Kelly win 5 0, then it shows you that there's something seriously wrong at Celtic. Does it? Aye. It could just be a blip. Nah, you, you don't. Celtic or Rangers don't lose 5 0. But why do they lose 5 0? The old firm don't lose. And the security guards are trying to, you know, get the kids off the pitch. Oh, aye, because they were intent on causing harm to that wee guy. Yep. Uh, well, I personally like to see that. <laughs> Look at Brendan Rodgers picking on wee fucking security guys domestically. Then when he goes into Europe, he gets his arse scalped. Fuck him. Overrated bastard. Worst percentage of any Champions League manager that's played 20 more games in the history of the Champions League. It's no good. Brendan Rodgers, worst fucking Brendan amount Rogers. of wins. That's a joke. Two wins. Two bloody wins. I mean, he had a full group campaign with Liverpool. And I'm pretty sure that group he had with Liverpool was pretty easy. I can't even remember who he had, like, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have been all right for Liverpool. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go for Celtic. No, look, I get it. Celtic have had a lot of tough teams in their group, right, over the past 10 years. But they've also had a lot of winnable games. Like Wednesday night? Uh, like Wednesday night. Last season, against Shakhtar Donetsk. Leipzig, the... I think they blew those games as well. I mean, I'm not... See these people, though, that bang on about, oh, if Cal McGregor shot against Real Madrid went in, let's be real, Real Madrid probably still would have won. You know what? Celtic probably, I think, Celtic dominated the first half, but I think if Celtic scored, it would have woke up Real Madrid. They were not, like, 10 see, levels. See if Celtic scored 20 minutes into that game. Did Celtic go on and dominate the next 25 before half time? 
I highly doubt it. Yeah, I, I don't think they do. But I'm going to go... But I've always given them credit for that game. Like I, like I said, they could have... They could have been a couple of goals up going into half time. Uh, they could have, but they weren't, and they lost 3 0. So, Celtic, though, they're not going to lose 3 0 tomorrow. I'm going to go for a 2 0 victory to Celtic. Is Joe Hart still suspended? I'm going to go 1 1. Oh, well. Come on, I've only lost two games this season. Thought they were unlucky in both of them. They've had some decisions go against them, too. We're not I, on a plastic pitch, though, come I, on. I don't think they need the plastic pitch. I think I think Kamonic are a decent outfit. They've been unlucky. I'm going to go with them to get a draw here. Also, Celtic playing in Europe. Uh, will that take out of them? We'll see. Kamonic have been rested. Celtic have played a game. I just don't rate Celtic either. I mean, last week, served late goal against Muller. They've just not. They're not the same team they were under Ange. No, they're not. And I, I think Kelly yeah, will get some. if you think otherwise. But anyway, one one. Dundee taking on Ross County. This will be a tough game. I think you know whoever wins this will be a massive three points. I'm going to go with Dundee. I'm going to go for three one Dundee. Yeah, I'm also going to go with Dundee. I think Dundee will do it. Big Dundee two one Dundee for me. Yep. Uh, moving on to the Embra Derby. I tell you what, Dundee must fancy their chances of staying up this season easily, or at the bare minimum. Getting the the playoff spot because they look a step above St Johnson, and I tell you what, the last few times Dundee have been in the league, they've looked the worst team in it. No, not this year. Though. But this year they don't. So I think Dundee must think we've got a really good chance, and I think they'll be aiming above eleventh. Fair enough. Not much higher than eleventh, but I, I think they should be aiming for around tenth, right. ninth. Embra Derby time, man. Black it out. I think Lauren Shankland's due a good performance. He's been shite. He's been yeah, that's why he didn't get put in the Scotland squad. He's been shite for the past few weeks. He's been well, he's probably been shite for more than that, to be fair. I think he's been shite since the uh, Rosenberg game. Probably been shite since he didn't get his move to Rangers. That was, that was fucking... That was smoking mirrors. That wasn't happening. I'm going to go for 3-1 Hibs. I'm going to go 2-2. And I'd probably take a, two, I'd, I'd take a draw right now, to be honest with you. That's fucking desperate. Taking a draw at home in the derby, I know that, and that doesn't sound good, but I, I just don't, I just don't rate us right now, and I don't rate Stephen Naismith. Prove me wrong, Stephen Naismith, please. Tell Prove me, me fucking, when I'm telling lies. Prove me fucking wrong. I feel like I've got more chance of winning a game of FIFA. And you're shy. Than Hearts do winning this game. Right, Livingston against Motherwell. Motherwell, perfect opportunity for them to bounce back. Three defeats in a row. They've had a good start this season, but if they don't win here. That good start will fade quickly. It's average, isn't it? Really? It is now. Let's be real. Very unlucky. Against uh, Rangers, St Mirren and Celtic. Very unlucky. Did they deserve to lose all three of those games? No. Did they deserve to lose any of those games? Probably not. No. Nope. I thought they'd done enough to when? get a draw against Celtic. I thought they'd done enough to get a draw against St Mirren. And I thought they'd done enough to get a draw against Rangers. And, and they got nothing. So this will be their fourth defeat in a row. If they lose to Livingston, and all of a sudden they go from being a team that you're talking about pushing into Europe, and if they don't, if they do lose, then they're just going to be another mid-table side, in my opinion. Yeah, so I, think, I think this is a make-or-break game for Motherwell. Going one now, Motherwell. They don't, they don't really score, they don't really concede. So one now. I also go one now, Motherwell, because I just, I just, I don't rate Levy. I think Levy are getting worse every season. They just can't rely on David Martindale to continue keeping them up without any sort of investment. Every year they sell their best players. Last year, again, Nicky Devlin to Aberdeen. He was probably the... He probably was their best player. And they got rid of him. And just they're not really bringing anyone in to replace them. And I've seen quite a lot of Livy games lately, unfortunately. Although, to be fair, they have been against the old firm, but they've just, like, shitting them all. Yeah. Other than a, a like, 10, 15-minute period they had against Rangers at the start of the second half, but that was because Rangers were shite. Rangers were letting them play. There wasn't yeah. anything good with Levy were doing. Anyway, point is I'm trying to make, last few times I've seen Levy play, they've been pish. Talking of pish, St Mirren against Rangers. Get your money <laughs> on St Mirren. I think they're 6-1, to one, right? Rangers will not win this game. They could maybe sneak a draw, but I honestly cannot see them winning. Why is it going to be different from Thursday? I tell you what, it's sad fucking times when you're saying Rangers can't win a game. No, but what, no, but if there was going to be a fucking change, it would have been Thursday. Why, why, why would it wait to Sunday? 
Why would these players start playing on Sunday? Hit me with a fucking valid reason. Are St Mirren better than Aris Limassol? Yes, Aris Limassol. Aris Limassol's worth fucking less than St Mirren's bloody goalkeeper. I don't even know who their goalkeeper is, but that team's worth was 1.25 million, man. Yes, St Mirren's goalkeeper again. Trevor Carson, no. No, Dundee signed him. All right, I'm... That's a good sign for Dundee, by the way. It is. But... Um, fuck, it's... You meant... U- Udominski or something? Udominski, right. Well, Udominski this. So I think they've got a good... Ryan Strain, Mark O'Hara, got some good players in there. I think O'Hara's injured for this match, though. Nah, which is a big big blow. Doesn't matter who's it. It does. Rangers are pish. Mark O'Hara's the man that makes St Mirren tick. But they've got... Good good players are in the pitch. I think they'll get a draw here. I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory at St Mirren. I'm going, to, I'm going to go 1-1. 2-1 St Mirren. I just don't think Rangers can... I don't know, I just don't really see if Rangers... Look. What's, what's the most amount of games Rangers have lost in a row? Because any time you hear Celtic and Rangers like losing free, it's like normally it dates back like decades. Well, I can guarantee it wouldn't date back decades for fucking Rangers. Well, I think it would for Celtic. I probably would for Celtic. I, I, I'd say Celtic haven't lost three in a row since the 90s. Mid-90s. Rangers probably lost three in a row fucking couple of seasons ago. I don't know. Yeah, I'd say so. But I'm going to once admit, and I just don't think I don't I don't think Rangers will be any better. Even though it would be hard to be any worse. I'll, I'll go one one. But can you see them winning? I actually just can't see Rangers. They're fucking abysmal. One one Dessers to get the goal. I don't even want that fucker to get the goal with my he's pish. He's fucking he's he's ruined everything. You've ruined it all, Dessels. You're shit. Oh, right. Last game, Aberdeen against St. Johnson. Aberdeen. I'm going to go with Aberdeen to win this one by three goals to nil. Yep. Sorry, St. Johnson. You're going down. Their goalie got called up to the, the Bulgarian national team. Beat off? Aye. Fair play. Yeah, I think he's all right, but we can't save shite, so... The thing is, Bulgaria's been pissed for two decades now, haven't they? Yeah, they don't, don't, don't quite have fucking Berbatov anymore. They're not quite the team they were in the 90s. Nope. Or early 2000s. Stoichkov. Stoichkov. Name you another one, like. But anyway, that's it. Aberdeen are going to win, and that's us right Stelian Petrov. Aye, well, there you go. Those two. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. I know my stuff. Who else did Bulgaria have that played for? No, Bulgaria used to have a good team in the 90s. They're shite now, though. I don't know what's happened to them. They just dropped off. But, I mean, I, I would put Bulgaria now in the same fucking boat as, like, an Albania. I'd say Albania. No, what, Albania's what, better. Which is crazy, because, like, I'd say in the nineties, like you would have considered Bulgaria up with like Russia, when Russia were decent. Bulgaria were like a Croatia level, but uh, no, yeah. not anymore. Times have fallen. Anyway, guys, times have fallen for I me. Mean, look at Rangers. Times have fallen. Banter years are back, man. Did they ever go away? I did for a wee bit. Anyway, till next time. Covid. Did did it really happen? Did it happen, Rangers? Anyway, guys, till next time. Peace.